Hey, it's Eric Leo 108. I'm a sociologist, philosopher, and hip hop artist. This is a video that's gonna be up on my YouTube. Maybe it's short enough, I'll put it on TikTok, but this is gonna be a response going over Lupe Fiasco and Chris Webby's vaccine Twitter debate. This is basically a summary of that. In the description on YouTube, I'll have the two hour Twitter debate. Um, so I have a degree in sociology from Eastern Michigan University and I've been accepted uh, for a master's program at Western Michigan University where I'll, where I'll be attending fall of 2023. I just wanted to give you my perspective on this debate. Um, these are my thoughts and, uh, and summary of what I heard. The timestamps are in the description. Most of these rappers, I've done videos on like The Real Samson, or Samson about how he thinks that Biden controls uh, gas prices. These rappers have no idea what they're talking about. Lupe is actually quite intelligent in defining his terms. He also teaches a class at MIT. I think I've seen a video about it. Uh, he's Yeah, he's one of the smarter ones, but a lot of these rappers are not. The definition of government and establishment are not the same. Um, so in the in beginning, they, this is where the tussle begins and what Chris is doing is conflating what a government and establishment means and Lupe is saying, I want you to differentiate them because they're not the same, which he agrees. But as Voltaire would say, if you wish to quarrel with me, define your terms. And this is what basically Lupe does to Chris the whole time is make him define his terms. And but because he does this, he feels attacked and like he can't speak. But all he's doing is probing his argument. Okay, so it seems Chris is getting his thoughts and feelings from his tribe, but when he's analyzed, he can't definitively express those feelings, which makes him adjust his opinion because it's not well thought out. Like how Chris says Lupe shifted his stance without ever being able to articulate what he was talking about. Chris seems to like a well-intentioned, Chris seems like a well-intentioned, uh, decent gentleman, but really needs to educate himself and not listen to the news. Uh, so this is at 24 minutes about. Chris is talking about how he, is, he doesn't trust the World Economic Forum, but doesn't see how that relates. Although what Lupe is saying is they're not an authority. Uh, basically, Lupe is saying, listen to the people that make and uh, distribute and research the drug, uh, the vaccine. The people who control the official narrative on the vaccine are the people that research and make the vaccine. Uh, you get the gist that Chris Webby really just doesn't know what he's talking about. At, when probed, you should be able to come up with answers to these questions, credible ones. But I mean, Chris doesn't even have answers. Uh, it seems Rand Paul's anti-Fauci uh, product campaign has infiltrated the mind of Chris Webby. Uh, this is at 35 minutes in. This is indicative of other people, but I love how Chris has no common sense. He doesn't understand the vaccine. And instead of taking the recommendation of the overwhelming majority of doctors, Chris is clinging to the one scientist that regrets it. It's like 99 out of 100 doctors are telling you to get the vaccine and can prove its effective effectiveness and you cling to the one minuscule one while never having an understanding of how vaccines work, how they're made, or who stands to benefit correctly. Again, he can't find, again, he can't define his terms. He thinks secondhand information is firsthand inf information. I agree with Lupe. Chris is a good guy, but he has no idea what he's talking about. The reason Chris can't get out his whole statement is because it's demonstrably false, misleading, or vague. So Lupe forces him to clarify which triggers Webby because he is not well thought out. This is a true example of how to negate your opponent. You have the premise and the subject. What most people have is the subject based off of a false premise, which is how propaganda works. Lupe's tactic here is to attract, is to attack the premise and it's fundamental in making a cogent argument. Um, yeah, this is comes with being a philosopher. You can look into this. What makes a cogent argument? There's a good argument and a sound argument. A sound argument has a verified premise. Um, yeah, Chris Webby doesn't know how to debate, and because of that, he uh, he feels attacked. 
uh, at 40, about 42 minutes in, missing, he has missing details that creates a false equivalency. Chris, I wish I would have made better notes about that. Chris thinks adverse effects means terrible repercussions when it really just means there's regular procedural effects and mistakes. Chris says there's a lot of things that he does know, but this discussion was evidence that when pressed, he can't articulate those facts. He is getting false information from the right. Vaccines are like global warming in that there is no reason to deny the science. Global warming is clearly happening and shots are clearly, the vaccine is clearly effective. Basically the best way to tell if you deny global warming or the vaccine is if you are ask your political association. Basically, the reason people don't believe uh, the vaccine works or is effective or that they don't believe in global warming is because of their political inf uh, affiliation, which is Republican, uh, conservative, which represents faith and freedom, recklessness, and investing in carbon fuels. So... I could unpack that. I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> I did this whole thing to show how stupid the average person is. Just because you have a bunch of followers and can regurgitate incorrect Repu Republican talking points doesn't mean you're right. We need better education, debunking conspiracies, and formal logic in schools and reinstate the fairness in reporting doctrine, which if you're looking in the description, I'll have a link. So, um... Basically, we have a conformity exercise where people are, they're not, they're listening to the people that aren't correct because there's a whole group of people that are following that as well. And they see that as uh, correct. Uh, it's pluralistic ignorance. I'm trying to, I didn't write any of this down. I'm trying to uh, grasp this. So like conformity experience, Salman Ash did this where he put up three lines. One was clearer, shorter than the other. And he put actors in a room to say that the longer line was the shortest. And then the people would conform. And then Stanley Milgram did experiments with it where he had a learner and a teacher. And the teacher shocked the learner to death if if, uh, if an authority uh, figure pushed them. And then Philip Zimbardo did the Stanford prison experiments. And uh, basically what you, can, what you can do is you can get people to conform to popular consensus without them ever being right. And this is a good example of that. So um, at 48 minutes in, suddenly adult a sudden adult death syndrome conspiracy he starts talking about this. Uh, I've never heard of it. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I'll address that later. Scientists rarely change the fundamentals. The details, methods, and under understandings get updated. Uh, when people say the Earth is overpopulated, it's not that the Earth is like going to tilt off its axis. It's that resources we consume aren't renewable and contribute to the decline of the biosphere. We're basically like bad bacteria on the earth that adversely, adversely affects other life and uh, other life the larger our population grows. So, and that's bad. Chris Webby gets caught multiple times saying he doesn't know to, he doesn't know to pivotal questions and interprets this as Lupe not letting him talk. The fact that Chris says he's not an anti-vaxxer, but just had a problem with, uh, with this particular vaccine corroborates my point that he's not re representing the science and facts, but rather a wrong political ideology. This is what I'm talking about with with the political stance. Chris trusts vaccines, but not the one that Republicans have made talking points for people to think they're right about. So that was great to unpack. That was sorry that was so choppy. Uh, an hour and twenty five minutes in, Chris wants to uh, wants a black and white answer, but he needs to make a risk anal risk management analysis. The chances of getting COVID and the repercussions. Um, are higher than the possible side effects of what you might experience from the vaccine. At a minute, at an hour and 32 minutes, I'm glad they finally got into the weeds about the effects. Because again, 
Chris clearly doesn't know what he's talking about when he doesn't understand the words and their meaning. Lupe is literally asking Chris to define a word that he is using as the premise of his argument, premise subject, whose subject is the vaccine is dangerous. And Chris is saying it's a loaded question. It's clear Chris isn't highly educated or even been to a debate. This is what you do in a regular debate. You should have these act answers. You can't say they're attacking you or not letting you talk when you just don't have the answers. Unlike McDonald, Tom McDonald, who I think does this for clout, it seems Chris just believes his own ignorance. The lie of the line of questioning that Lupe presents was required to extract the truth, and Chris misidentifies his ignorance as not allowing his side to talk. Uh, Chris didn't bring anything credible to the table to argue, and then they did argue, and Chris can't define his words and accuses Lupe of not addressing them, which I'm also addressing here. Uh, ignorance reigns, which is why almost half of America is Republican. I'll tell you what doesn't make sense, Chris. Sudden adult death syndrome makes us about as much sense as spontaneous human combustion and probably happens just as often. The risk assessment you did for getting the vaccine doesn't make sense. And I'll tell you what else doesn't make sense, that you don't understand what basic medical words are, but have the audacity to condemn Fauci. Lupe handled himself like an adult and did what he was supposed to do uh, in a debate or any conversation while Chris felt attacked for not defending his argument. Chris is an example of how ignorance and the Republican agenda hurts America. In summary, Lupe, uh, you're... Like As Lupe said, you're either trusting COVID or you're trusting the vaccine, which is safe and effective. Thank you for donating to that Wildlife Foundation, Chris Webby. Uh, go check out their music. I made a uh, post on Twitter where uh, I was thinking about writing a diss towards Chris. And then um, I looked into his music and I rather like it. Uh, and then I saw this and I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh but uh, I recommend some news I recommend if I recommend if you're looking for uh, who I trust, uh, Mother Jones, Democracy Now, Philip DeFranco and John Stewart are great uh, uh, news outlets and perspectives. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my family. You're awesome. I love you very much. And until next time, you guys take care. All right.